So looking to the future of ALL, I think that we're going to continue to build upon the research that's ongoing uh, using uh, inotuzumab, blinitumab, and CAR T cells in combination and sequence for our patients, uh, again with the, with the goal of uh, hopefully eliminating the need for uh, transplant for many of our patients. So I think if we think about, for example, Philadelphia chromosome negative B cell ALL, I think it's going to be standard to incorporate our best available agents, uh, maybe some amount of chemotherapy, although I think the amount that we might need for these patients is debatable. We're going to incorporate inotuzumab as well as blinitumab into the frontline setting to get higher rates of uh, you know, MRD negativity, uh, which, will, which should translate to better outcomes. Then the question is, what's going to be the role of CAR T cell? I would argue that uh, we should be moving CAR T cells not only from, in, from second or later salvage to first salvage and even to the frontline setting, potentially as consolidation. So I think that's something we're excited to explore is actually when we historically would have done sent patients to transplant, instead give them the best available therapy we have, some amount of chemotherapy, inotuzumab, blinitumab, and then consolidate them with CAR T cells, which we know are very effective when they're given to patients with low burden disease, MRD positive, or actually uh, no detectable disease, and actually are safer when they're given like that. And again, then we can hopefully eliminate the need for transplant and reduce the potential morbidity and mortality. Same in the relapse refractory setting, we should be using for those patients who do relapse, we should use any of these effective drugs that they haven't already received. So a combination of some chemotherapy perhaps with inotuzumab, blinitumumab, and then CAR T cell consolidation as well. Again, with the goal of reducing the need and eliminating the need for uh, transplant even in patients with relapsed refractory ALL.